Give me a place to stand and a lever long enough and I will move the world. Archimedes. Archimedes was the most brilliant mathematician of his time. He was also a physicist, engineer, astronomer, and inventor. Archimedes was a practical man who invented many machines, such as pulleys and the Archimedean screw pumping device. His work inspired scientists in the 16th and 17th century. Archimedes was born around 287 BC in the city of Syracuse, Sicily, a self-governing colony in Magna Graecia at the time. The birth date is based on a claim made by the Byzantine Greek historian John Tzitzes that Archimedes lived for 75 years before his death in 212 BC. The most well-known story about Archimedes is about how he invented a method for calculating the volume of an irregularly shaped object. According to Vitruvius, Archimedes was asked to determine whether the dishonest goldsmith had substituted some silver. Archimedes needed to solve the problem without causing any damage to the crown, so he couldn't melt it down to a regular shaped body to calculate its density. Archimedes discovered a simple method for estimating the value around 200 BC. He observed that a regular polygon encircled by a circle has a perimeter greater than the circle's circumference. Archimedes devised several countermeasures within Syracuse. One was a powerful hook mounted on a rotating crane that could lift and capsize Roman ships. He is also said to have invented a curved mirror that could focus the sun's rays onto Roman ships and set them on fire. Archimedes' weapon as burning glasses. The device, also known as the Archimedes heat ray, was used to direct sunlight towards approaching ships, causing them to catch fire. In the Sand Reckoner, Archimedes discusses astronomical measurements of the Earth, Sun, and Moon, and Aristarchus's heliocentric model of the universe. Despite the absence of trigonometry and a chord table, Archimedes describes the procedure and instrument used to make observations, applies correction factors to these measurements, and finally provides the result in the form of upper and lower bounds to account for observational error. Thank you for watching. Don't hesitate to comment below and share this video with your friends. See you in my next video.